to be back. What's up everybody, it's your boy Rose here and I'm back with a new video today. Now this is the first review of 2020, so thank God we all made it. Peace to you guys, happy new year to y'all family, friends, and everybody out there that's watching. But yes, now in my last video I did in my top three boots of the winter. Hey, Timberlands, Doc Martens, and Nike, and the Nike boots. So I uh, got an idea, I was like, let me purchase some uh, Doc Martens because I really like uh, Doc Martens styles. And, um, and it's just been a brand, uh, just a bearing that been out there for years. So, and I knew about Doc Martens long ago. I was first introduced to them uh, by my sister back in 2014 or even earlier than that, 2012 maybe. So yeah, she was like the first one I know who hopped on the Doc Martin waves and yeah, took it from there. Now, for y'all, but let's get to the video. I'm doing a review on the Doc Martin Collier Bex Double Platform Boots. Now, this is the box that come in, the uh, infamous Doc Martin box, and it's pretty big. And I actually copped these off of Essence. And I had these for like, I actually just got these not too long ago, so. I, and I haven't even worn them, I just, so. Yeah, you're kind of getting a fresh look on them. So yeah, now, as you can see, it has the information of Doc Martin right here, and it has, you know, the tissue paper. So let's let's take the boot out. Now these are the boots. Yes, y'all, these are the Doc Martin, these are the platforms. Now, to me, off a of first look, these are nothing to play with. Like, just from the detailing, to the stitching, to the double laces, to the extra bells and buttons right here. It is really dope, y'all. I'm gonna give you guys a closer view. So in, in the boot, it comes in, you know, of course, the tissue paper. This is the other boot, if y'all want to look at that, but yeah. Okay, let's get into the specs of the boot. Now, as you can see, it comes with two shoelaces, this double lace platform. The double platform is two inches thick. Um, it has, of course, the, the famous yellow stitching all across the um, boot, as you can see. And then it has the yellow, but this is like more of a darker yellow stitching going around the perimeter, perimeter of the boot. And of course, it has, you know, the tag and then the Doc Martin inside. But yeah. So again, like, like the regular Doc Martens, if you have seen it before, it has the smooth leather going across. Nothing too too special in terms of the color. Also, like to me, I get off the, the feel of the boot. It's kind of like a um, John Doc Martin, and then like revamped it in another way with adding the uh, extra, you know, bells and materials, the um, and the other shoelaces. And I think it gives it a nice finish, and it has you know the, the extra stitching going along throughout the boot because if you know the Doc Martin just has the stitching going around here and then around the perimeter and that's it. But it has it going throughout uh, the whole entire boot, which I think is a plus. Now in terms of sizing, you guys know that um, the uh, brand is based out of the UK. So, you know, the size is going to be a size down, meaning like if I got these in a size 10, so they're going to be a UK nine. So make sure when you guys are, if you guys do purchase these, look at your size and chart. So, Dur durability I feel like I have not wore them yet so I can actually do a update on these probably in the next couple of months if you guys want one but I feel as though these are kind of as durable as your famous Doc Martens I have a pair other than these I had those for since 2018 and they still look fine of course they have the a couple creases of course but they still have a nice Hold to it as long as, and I feel as though as long as you don't wear these like every day, or if you do, it, but you keep a touch, uh, but you keep up with them in terms of cleaning them, uh, putting the shoe holders inside of them, and wiping them down, these will stay uh, durable for the most part. And so, also, when these were released in uh, October of 2021, I don't know the exact date, but they released these and a couple other ones. I'll put these in the uh, video as well. But my uh, rating on these, I would definitely give these a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, these are a almost perfect boot. I just haven't worn them yet, so that's why I haven't given you guys the whole 9.5. Yeah, these are overall good shoe. I haven't really, hit. there's no cons, it's stitching as well. Um, I like the different shoelaces. It actually complements the boot even more, gives it more of a, a stronger look, a, a more enticing look to me. 
Um, I do suggest you guys buying these. Pricing wise, I was just this, this. It ranges from I think 180 to 210. And the reason why I gave you a array because it depends on where you get these. Now these are sold at various places like Nordstrom, Essence, Bliss, the Doc Martin website. But I think they might be sold out. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Um, when shoes are um, available at various places they all the pricing is always very different are we on the dog Warren Collier double platform boots make sure you guys like comment subscribe uh, share this video to all your friends family and those who are looking for some boots or if you just like watching my content thank you guys for watching I definitely have more videos to come and more reviews for 2022 I appreciate y'all and make sure you subscribe to my other YouTube called the Rose breakdown where I'll be talking about a bunch of different type of stuff over that channel so make sure thank you guys for watching appreciate y'all see you on my next video Reality, it kill my dream like an assassin. My bros keep moving, wait, he always got the packing. I got another, he just got an eye for fashion. I can't forget about my brother.